I'm Seth Caswell. I'm the president of the Seattle Chefs Collaborative. Um, I've had the privilege of going out to the Coolest Asket Farm and it's such a great opportunity for Seattle chefs to be able to really see where their food is coming from, know how it's harvested, uh, get creative ideas with what to do with it after it's harvested, uh, and really get a, a better sense of, of our whole food system. Uh, and that's why we're having this event today, is so that we can support other uh, Seattle chefs to get out to the Quillis Asket Farm. Anytime we can experience something we've never experienced, we're educating ourselves, expanding our mind, obviously. We couldn't appreciate what we didn't know before, and hopefully we will fall in love with that experience of being on the farm and getting our hands dirty. And I, I think everybody's so insulated. When you live in the city, you have no understanding and appreciation of what it entails to be able to get out there and, you know, either plant seeds or wake up at four in the morning and milk the goats, go out and feed them. Um, I think, you know, it's just it's a sense of appreciation. The best thing about the Quilla Saskia Farm School uh, when I was out there this summer was the fact that I could take the practices they have out there uh, from even saving the same water cup all week to using the same napkin all week um, and coming full circle in that and promoting a real sustainable uh, sort of aspect and they really bring that together out there and it was a great experience. The reason that we like to support this is because we're trying to groom our future uh, culinary professionals uh, to be able to understand better about how the connection between the chefs and the farms uh, in the restaurants and what kind of significance that an impact that can have on our, um, our customers uh, who have the buying power, the people that are keeping us alive and keeping us in business. Uh, so we have a scholarship that sends uh, annually sends two people um, to the farm. One of the biggest things that I got to bring back from Kula Saskia was this phenomenal renewed energy. I've been searching for like what my next big step is going to be. And I'm trying to put together programs for teaching the underprivileged how to go and deal with the farmers, how to do shopping at the markets, how to cook that food, how to not over purchase and sustain their family through through the seasons as well. So that's the biggest thing that I got to bring back from me. The reason we chose these two uh, out of our applicants is because they're in leadership positions in their kitchen uh, and they can come and they can influence the people that are working for them uh, and teach them so that when they move on to their next restaurant uh, they will also um, share that, that knowledge with them and that energy uh, and encourage other people to go. I have the ability now and to, to bring real food, we're calling it real food down at the restaurant now so that my staff can get an idea of what the difference is between a canned bean and a bean that comes in in the shell. We throw around sustainability a lot uh, and they really put it in perspective when you go out there. I mean, I've been there, it's just like you come back and you're like, you can't, you can't say one thing that you liked about it. You're just like, and I did this and I did this, and you know, and it's like, it's so much fun, uh, but it's such an experience. Rick and Laura Lee are really dedicated to the program they started and what they're doing out there um, is definitely a slower type of food than we're used to here in the metropolitan Seattle. I want to come out and milk goats. I would love to come out to the farm, so because I think goat cheese is pretty much the best thing in the world. But to be able to make that stuff on your own and know how to do it, I mean, it's so empowering. And then, you know, and, and to know how hard it is. Like, I think we take that for granted, for sure. Well, I think Quilla Saskin Farm School is an incredible idea. I know for myself, if I had um, started out by going uh, somewhere like that early in my career, I think it would have shaped me much sooner. I mean, I, I kind of came to the, the sustainability path a little bit later and have been, you know, stuck to it, but um, I think it would influence your whole career trajectory, so I think that, I think it's a great program. Life happens at the table. Life happens at the table